Sagittarius. Welcome back to the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot. Um, today I'm going to be doing your September love forecast. Hope you guys have been having a good summer so far and it's going by way too fast for me. I don't know about if it's going that way for you. Um, so I did get a new deck of cards in um, this week. Um, it's the Steampunk Tarot, which is really appropriate for the fall, um, but I just can't wait to use them and get my hands on them, so I'm going to be switching up my deck, my normal deck um, that I use is the Charmin Caselli Tarot deck, um, but this is the Steampunk Tarot deck, and um, if you're not familiar with my readings, um, I also normally do a grid style reading. Um, for the general forecasts um, in the mid during the mid month or the new month forecasts, um, but for the love forecast, I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross spread. So just something to keep in mind if you notice that this is a little bit different. Um, in addition to doing the Celtic cross spread for the love forecasts, I'm going to be pulling an oracle card and um, doing a rune cast on top of the reading to sort of aid in my um, the messages that I'm getting. All right, Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius? Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius moon, and Sagittarius sun. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius moon, and Sagittarius sun? What are the messages? Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius moon, and Sagittarius sun. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius sun, Sagittarius moon, and Sagittarius rising? Sometimes you just gotta shuffle the cards until you're ready. All right. Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, and Sagittarius Moon? In addition to the um, tarot card reading, I'm going to be pulling an oracle card from the Oracle Mermaid stack for you. The 
pockets are a little bit bigger and so they just are a little bit harder to shuffle for me personally. I try to do the best that I can. Okay, let me just do one more shuffle here. Spirit, where are the messages for Sagittarians? Sagittarius Sun. bunch of stuff going on today. I'm going to be doing a rune cast on top of the reading as well. There are one of the messages for Sagittarius. don't read the runes that don't um, show me their upright meaning because those me those are the unknowns. Okay, so we have our runes. Excellent. So I can start doing the reading. Let me just make sure you guys can see it. I always like to make sure that my viewers can see everything nice and clearly. So um, I always start with the center of the Celtic cross. Go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and turn the cards over actually. Eight of swords reversed, crossed by the six of swords. We've got temperance reversed. The Knight of Swords over top. We have the Three of Cups. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands. Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles. And the Lovers. Okay, wow, interesting. All right. So Sagittarius, the card that represents you in this reading is the Eight of Swords, but she's reversed. So this speaks to me of someone who is releasing themselves from some very negative uh, situations or a negative situation, negative thoughts, feeling trapped. This represents to me that you are um, either coming out of a bad relationship or releasing yourself from some kind of toxic environment. Um, swords are the messengers of communication, thought, knowledge, truth, and um, with the Eight of Swords reversed, I don't know if you can see the image, but she's bound and tied. Her her eyes are blindfolded and she can't see that there are all of these swords around her. But clearly she's stuck. Um, with it in reverse, I see it to a lesser degree. So I see that um, in your present situation, you are coming out of a period of feeling very trapped, stuck in a very negative situation, that type of thing. 
What's crossing you is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords represents to me that um, you are moving, traveling to a happier place, especially with the rune Wunjo, which means joy or victory. So it speaks to me that you are um, undergoing a process of removing yourself from a bad psychological situation where you were um, overcome with negative thoughts or a, ne a negative environment and you are actually traveling, either um, physically traveling or mentally traveling or both to a more peaceful place where there is going to be a lot of joy surrounding you. So these are the two forces that we're going to be working with throughout this reading. Um, imagine these two things as propellers on a plane and um, one kind of affects the other and they sort of um, as they sort of spin around and affect all of the uh, positions in the reading. So now the root of the issue or the root of your present situation is that you aren't healed yet from something. You're still healing from something. With the temperance in reverse, this speaks to me of someone who is yet to find balance and yet to heal emotionally from um, a situation. Um, temperance also speaks of rejuvenation and um, yeah, basically it's, it's the angel of, of healing and um, with it reverse, it speaks to me of just not being healed or not feeling like you are balanced. Um, so this might have been um, having something to, something to do with your present situation, um, feeling like you're trapped in a negative situation or like a toxic environment. You're still, um, you're still healing from that. And in order to heal, you have to kind of move on to a better place, a more peaceful environment. Now, what crowns you is what you want to manifest. Um, the Knight of Swords is an air sign. Um, it speaks to me of direct energy, someone who's not afraid to um, get their point across no matter what it takes. Um, this guy is, if you notice, it's a very cold climate in this picture, in this image of this tarot card. And um, he or she is ready to draw a sword if need be. There's also kind of a expression on the face of an ambiguous expression, but it leans towards, for me, a feeling of a little bit of bewilderment, but also like, I might draw my sword if I have to, because I'm not so sure um, what you're going to do. So there's a little bit of defensiveness, but there's also like a lot of um, um, this person being willing to fight for what they believe in at any cost. And as you can see, they're sort of on their own in this desolate place. And um, there seem to be some zeppelins in the sky, like Led Zeppelin. So maybe there's like some Led Zeppelin music in your background. Maybe you're feeling very rock and roll. <laughs> but um, also near um, the present situation and the Knight of Swords, um, I do have a rune and the rune is Manaz, female. But the rune was sort of on its side, as I recall. So the situation is um, definitely affecting a female and female energy is, uh, I believe related to this Knight of Swords. Um, 
I'm getting a sense that there may be a female in your life or um, who was having, that has to do with this, this issue. Um, and if you're trying to manifest the Nine of Swords, this is a very, um, this is a person who is a bit, um, doesn't really take people's feelings too much into consideration. It's more of like, you just want to, um, get your point across and, um, move on. Uh, they can be very idealistic and, um, I just heard the camera make a funny sound. <laughs> so, um, moving into your past situation, we do have the three of cups. So I do see that you might have been um, hanging out with friends, partying. Um, in this picture, it's a man with two women sharing drinks and a sort of a, a bar type atmosphere, like a lounge. And um, they seem to be having a really good time. And the rune that's coming up with this is Barkana, love. So there seems to have been some like really good times full of love and laughter in your past. Um, everyone was getting along great. Um, just a sense of friendship and love. Um, even possibly a love triangle. So good times. Um, now, what's coming into your, your near future is the Queen of Swords. But she is reversed. So the Queen of Swords reversed is not a very nice woman. She's a um, dark-haired woman. She's um, the type of person that would break up with you or fire you from a job. But if you can tell her expression, like she is taking someone's hand. But in the reverse, I see her kind of um, pointing as if she's... Uh, telling you to maybe stop or go away. So this could be a dark haired woman in your life who is an air sign or has some air sign qualities. Um, and of course, I actually think that the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords go together as a couple. So I see in your future that um, there is a woman in your life who um, may be feeling a bit knocked down by you. She may be feeling not so good. Um, she doesn't have very nice things to say about you. Um, she is highly intelligent and she's very quick-witted. Um, so this is someone who definitely has her guard up and she doesn't mince her words. And she also, yeah, she's just not a very nice person. The Queen of Swords Reverse, I would say she, um, you know, take the things she says with a grain of salt because um, she can be kind of nasty. Um, that's just my my opinion of, of this particular car when this car comes up for me. Now, how you see yourself is the Eight of Wands reversed. Um, in the Eight of Wands, we do see a man launching a bunch of fiery wands off from his uh, mechanic mechanical cannon. So it does speak to rapid fire, energy, lots of things up in the air. Um, but with it in reverse, um, I sort of see you um, sort of things are stuck up in the air. Things are a bit on hold for the time being, um, especially when it comes to communications. Okay. How other people see you or your environment. Seven of Swords, but it was reversed. Um, Seven of Swords to me, reverse speaks to people thinking that you aren't getting away with something, that you got caught doing something. Um, it can also speak to um, mental strategy or like overthinking something to the point of just, um, you know, paranoia or just, you know, um, in general, if you were trying to get away with something or if you were trying to 
if someone else was trying to get away with something and sneak up, sneak away, they aren't going to get away with it. So that's what this um, energy speaks to me of. In your hopes and fears, you do have the page and pentacles. So um, I think you're hoping for uh, either a younger person um, who has a lot to learn to come into your life, or you could be hoping for um, sort of a new beginning and um, a new learning experience because the Page of Pentacles has a lot to learn and is still very much growing. So you could be looking for an experience or a person that um, has more to learn or you yourself are looking for an experience that's going to give you um, a new growth experience. Um, it could be a relationship. So, um, yeah, a younger, you might be looking for a younger person who is just not, um, doesn't know as much or and who needs, you know, some guidance, or you could be looking for a new opportunity that you um, can sort of learn from, like a, grow, a growth experience. All right. And as your outcome, I do have the lovers. So this speaks to me of you needing to make a choice between two people. Um, someone where you're currently with and someone who you may want to be with other than that person. Or this can also speak to just um, needing to make a choice in life. But um, the lovers speaks to me of blessed union so that this union is blessed by an angel and um, on the physical plane. So there is a lot of attraction here since it is a major arcana card. So you could very well, um, Sagittarius, um, see yourself with this person as um, your soulmate. And, uh, but it also speaks to choice. Um, so you have to make a life choice at this point um, in September about uh, this person that you want to be with um, because you feel that they are so right for you. Um, there is a strong attraction and um, usually I think of this as a soulmate card because the physical and sexual attraction is so great. Um, so it speaks to me of really needing to make a big choice um, in September about that um, person. Now, for your oracle card, you did get freedom. And let me put that there. Um, independence, self-determination. So let me read you the meaning for this card. With her independence and fleeting attachments, the mermaid shows us how to maintain who we are. Let's see if you guys can see this. The mermaid shows us how to maintain who we are within intimate physical relationships. Her unabashed beauty and sexuality and her unselfconscious allure show us that we are desirable and powerful simply for being alive. If we feel an affinity only with the mermaid who gives up herself in order to be joined with a lover, we should sincerely examine just how much of ourselves we change when we are with a partner. This mermaid syndrome can extend to women or men who change their appearance, manners, interests, or religion to be with a lover. The mermaid's presence in our lives requires that we become closer to who we truly are and to honor our own truths instead of adopting and adapting to another's. Sacrificing who we are in order to be with another. Another who may not require that we change at all. So some of you may be considering getting back in touch with um, your own true selves and um, discovering really your own freedom and, um, you know, whether attached or single, wanting to go off and sort of um, explore uh, you know, what it means to be free, what it means to live in your, in your, um, personal power and your freedom. 
Um, there's a lot of self-determination around you at this time and um, possibly the need for new, new growth experiences or um, a growth relationship, something that's going to show you something different. And um, it just also speaks to me of sort of needing a change um, in pace and sort of wanting to go off and do your own thing. Um, so make sure that you create the space for yourself to do that in September, because I do see that being, um, you know, a really high priority for you at this time. All right, Sagittarius, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and um, be sure to like and subscribe and thank you all for liking and subscribing so far. And um, I look forward to reading your comments. Bye. Have a great month.